Hello everyone, it's your favorite realtor, Erica Hernandez with Houston Top Realty. Happy Monday to you and happy summer. So today I stopped by a new listing that's gonna come on the market for lease here soon, which made me think of the perfect topic for today's video. On today's video, I'm gonna be talking about all things listing your home for lease. If you would like to learn more, please stay tuned. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Erica Houston Realtor, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and TikTok and go to my website at www.ericahoustonrealtor.com. So today we'll talk about all things listing your home for lease, which means rent. Number one, what is the broker fee for listing your home for lease? Number two, the process of screening a tenant. And number three, I'll touch on the residential lease agreement. All right, so number one, what is the broker fee involved with leasing your home out on the market? The answer is, the cost will be equal to one month's rent. So for example, if you're leasing your home for $1,500, when you have a new tenant in your home, they're gonna give a $1,500 deposit with the first month's rent. As a broker, we get to keep one of those checks. You decide which one, they are going to be the same because they are both equal to one month's rent. Number two, I wanted to discuss the screening process. Every broker works differently and uses different processes and every agent also uses different websites. To screen tenants, I do use a website that will run a background check and a credit check and also will look at the details of their past rental history. A fee is charged to the tenant for this screening, so you're not responsible for paying any of that. What we will do is once we get the results, we will share them with you and then you can make your decision about which tenant you will decide to move forward with. The last thing I wanted to go over are the documents. So the residential lease agreement. The paperwork we use at our brokerage is pretty lengthy. It talks about how many cars are gonna be able to be parked on the property, who is going to be living there. It will also detail if you have any visitors coming in what is the amount of time or days that they can stay there? It outlines who takes care of utilities, who takes care of the lawn, and so many more details. If you would like to sit and review this document with me so I can show you what protections you have as a landlord and what all is outlined in the agreement, I would love to do that. I do appreciate you guys staying with me for this entire video concerning all things leasing. If you're interested in leasing your property, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, give me a like or leave me a comment below on all your questions concerning leasing your home. I can't wait to see you guys next week.